I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. I have taken eight questions from previous test papers. These are all multiple choice or objective type questions. They are based on dot product and cross product applications. Question number one. If magnitude of vector A is 3 and magnitude of vector B is 4 and the angle between these two vectors is 60 degrees, numerical value of this is what? So let's figure this out. So we can just expand this, right? Do the dot product. So we get 2. A dot A will be, or let's write down 2A dot A. We have space here minus 2 times 3 6 a dot b then we have b dot a we can also write this a dot b since dot product is commutative right and here we get minus 3 b dot b now a dot a is the magnitude of a whole square minus 6 times a dot b and plus we could have combined them so that gives me 5 times a dot b correct and this is minus 3 times magnitude of b square now you are given the information to find the dot product so we can do that on the side what is a dot b equals to so a and b magnitudes are given to us we can calculate this on the side we say a dot b is basically magnitude of a times magnitude of b times cos of the angle between them, which is 60 degrees, right? So, so 3 times 4 times cos of 60 degrees. And cos of 60 degrees is half, right? So that gives you equal to uh, 3 times 4, 12, and half will be 6, correct? So a dot b is 6 for you. Now we can place these values here and find the answer. So 2 times square of 3 minus 5 times 6 minus 3 times square of 4. Okay. So that is 9 times 2, 18 minus 30 minus 16 times 3, 48. Right? So from 48, when you take away 18, you get what? You get 30 and minus 30, minus 30 will give you minus 60. So option B is the right option, correct? Question two, a stove is pushed three meters across the floor against a frictional force of 200 newtons. Find the work done. Now here, the key word is against the frictional force, right? So we get a negative answer and it is the product of these two, which is a dot product, right? So it is 200 times 3 Newton meters or joules, right? Which is 600 Newton meters, correct? Question number three. Suppose x dot y equals to 2. Magnitude of x is 2, magnitude of y square root 2. What is the angle between the two vectors? So x dot y is basically magnitude of x times magnitude of y times cos theta, correct? Now we're given all this, we need to find the angle between the vectors. So we know cos theta is basically equal to x dot y over magnitude's product, right? So let's calculate. So we have the value as 2 for the dot product. And these magnitudes are given to us as 2 and square root 2, 2 and square root of 2. Right. So what we get cos theta as equals to 1 over square root 2. So that implies that theta equals to 45 degrees. Clear? So B is the right option. Now, what is the dot product of these two? So let's do the dot product. We have 4 minus 10, 3 dot of 1, 1, 5, correct? So 4 times 1 is 4, minus 10, and 3 times 5, 15, with a positive sign. 
So what you get here is 5. Uh, you get, uh, when you take away 10 from this, you get 5. 5 plus 4 is 9 for you, right? So 9 is there. So that becomes your correct answer. Okay? Question number 5. If the vector A is 1, 0, minus 4 and B is 5, 2, 1, what is the scalar projection of A on B? We need scalar projection, right? Just the magnitude. So scalar projection of A on B is basically A dot B divided by the magnitude of B, right? That is what it is. So, so we are given these two vectors. Let's find the dot product. 5 to 1 divided by the magnitude of B which is square root of 5 square plus 2 square plus 1 so which is 5 plus 0 minus 4 over 25 and 4 29 and 1 square root of 30 okay so we got 5 minus 4 is 1. So that becomes our answer. Correct? So that is how we are going to answer this particular question. Right? Sixth question here is, for the vector A and B, what is the vector projection of A on B? Now what is the formula for vector projection? So when you have vector projection, then we are also looking into the direction. Right? So it is in the direction of B. So this time, the A dot B over magnitude of b right square times the vector v so basically a unit vector v we are looking into is that okay now let's do the dot product minus 340 dot 214 and uh, the magnitude of b will be square so that means we have 2 square plus 1 square plus 4 square right and the vector b which is 214 okay so so that gives us this is the scalar multiple right so what we get here is minus 6 and 4 plus 4 right so that is over this magnitude which is 4 plus 1 5 and 16 is 21 and that is the vector 214 correct so we get here when you take away 6 you get minus 2 over 21 and 214 so we get the option a as our option is it okay so we get a as our option correct let's move on and take the next question number seven for the vectors a and b what is the cross product right so let's find the cross product a cross b uh, you can use the matrix form, so you can i, j, k, a is 4, minus 6, 10, minus 6, 9, minus 15, correct? So we get i, that gives you 90, right, with the positive sign, minus 90, so that is 0, minus j, so 4 times 15, 60, with a negative sign and that gives you negative of this which is again 60 with a positive sign now plus k which is 4 times 9 36 minus 36 so that is 0 0 0 that is your vector right so that is your answer now Question number 8 here actually is a true or false question. You need to justify your answer. State whether each statement is true or false, assuming all the vectors are non-zero vectors. For each statement, justify your choice. The very first one is, if sum of three vectors is equal to zero vector, right, then A, B and C must be collinear. Well, not necessary, so, so the answer will be definitely false. Let me write down here false. 
okay and the reason could be see if I have this right then we have zero sum correct and they are not collinear correct so they are not collinear B if two vectors a and b are collinear then the dot product is zero well this is also false if they are collinear means if they are the same direction then it's not zero it is zero when they are perpendicular right so because cos theta is zero for this so there's it is zero for 90 degrees zero when perpendicular clear C. If C equals to this represents A cross B and D is negative of this represents B cross A. That is true. Why? Because A cross B and B cross A, they are negative of one another, right? So that is true because B cross A is equal to negative of A cross B, right? Therefore, it is true. Now we have b cross a cross c there's nothing in between it represents a vector value well this is not valid false it is not valid since you know what we don't have a dot or a cross product and this d could have been a scalar right so you cannot just multiply like this with a vector right so it is not permitted not permitted clear the last question here is if a is this and a dot a is how much well a dot a is how much a dot a is magnitude of a square this is square root right that doesn't work so so basically a dot a will be equal to square root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square square which is 14 so this one is also false clear so a dot a is not square root 14 but it is 14 so i hope these questions help you to begin with uh, the dot product and cross product simple applications but these are must from test point of view i hope that helps feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'll be great thanks for watching and all the best